Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Good Tuesday morning. I'm Bree Groves on December the 15th with your News 5 update. Pueblo County set to receive its COVID-19 vaccines later this week. Parkview Medical Center will get 1,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine and 2,500 from Moderna once that one is FDA approved, which should come this week. 310 doses will go to the Pueblo Health Department, while the Colorado Mental Health Institution gets 2,300. The health department will be overseeing the first shipment. The ACLU is now suing the El Paso County Sheriff, saying that the way his office handled COVID-19 precautions in the jail led to one of the biggest outbreaks in the entire state. They say the sheriff prohibited inmates from wearing masks in their housing ward. The ACLU wants to see a judge quickly asking for those masks, increased screenings, quarantines and testings. But the sheriff's office website does say that they still have intense screenings and limited movement throughout the jail. So we'll keep an eye on this. The 2C repaving project in Colorado Springs now complete. In five years, a total of over 1,074 lane miles repaved and sales tax revenue is still being collected for 2C until the end of the year when they'll move on to 2C2 come January. It is Weather Alert Day. Let's check in with meteorologist Sam Schreier. Weather alert because of the cold 30 degrees in Colorado Springs right now. Well, later today we will get up to 30, 35 through Pueblo, 30s and 20s into the plains and then yes, some cold air still expected out west. When we look through the extended forecast, 30s today turn into 40s out over time. Now we are going to be dry through that extended, but we think there could be some stray flakes and flurries on Friday, kind of up around 50 for the high on Sunday. And then Pueblo, we see a warmer air later this week, dry skies. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know sponsored by Power Credit Union.